Hi and welcome to the video. This is Machine Dana and in this video we're going to be going into a bit more detail on how you can set up commands on your stream, uh, be that for Twitch, YouTube gaming or Facebook gaming. Commands are a really useful thing. They allow you as the streamer to give very quick and easy information to your viewers. Uh, it allows you to be reminded of key information or, or perhaps more complex information or maybe bits of information that isn't used so regularly that you want to be able to recall. Uh, it can really help support the stream and, and improve the flow of information on your stream. Uh, so commands basically involve you or one of the viewers being able to type an exclamation point and then some sort of word after that exclamation point and that will then return a message from the uh, the bot which will provide for, for, for instance maybe some guidance or some instructions or some information or a joke or a quote or, or anything really. Um, it might be a HTML uh, URL or something like that. Commands are pretty good and there's different types of commands that you can use as well. So in this video, I'll go into how to set them up uh, and go one by one into the different variables that you can use on commands as well. Uh, and perhaps a little bit of a flavor on how best to use the commands in themselves. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It will help other people to find the video. Uh, and if you do want to see more of these types of videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I also stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. So if you want to see any of these commands in action uh, or see how I personally use them on my stream uh, to really good effect, then please feel free to visit me on that. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what you need to do first is navigate to Streamlabs Online. So this is using Streamlabs's version of the commands. There are lots of different other uh, companies that you can use, for instance, Stream Elements and so on. This video is specifically going to be Streamlabs, um, so how the, the commands on Streamlabs work. First of all, what you need to do is navigate to uh, streamlabs.com and set up an account. You can use your own Twitch credentials or YouTube credentials or whatever. Also, then uh, once you're in here, click on CloudBot down the left hand side. You should be able to just see that there. Uh, toggle CloudBot to turn it on. Go into your, your stream chat online and forward slash mod space streamlabs in your chat. Uh, what that does is it then links the CloudBot and mods the CloudBot function from Streamlabs to your streaming channel. So once you've got those formalities out of the way, there's loads of different tools you can use from Streamlabs, uh, one of which is the commands function. This is what we're going to be going into a lot of detail about today uh, in this video. Uh, first things first, just to give a bit of an overview of what the different types of, of commands there actually are. There are custom commands that you can set up, and this is the one where you can get really, really playful uh, and, and, and kind of customize specific commands for your users. Um, as you can see here, I've got something like three pages of custom commands that I use, and they're all used for different types of things. Uh, you've got default commands. These are the default commands that come with CloudBot, uh, but are editable. And um, we'll go briefly into those in, in a little while. Then you've got variables as well, which again are customizable. There's also on settings here a few kind of extra commands that you can use. They are default by um, by default, <laughs> um, so they are defaulted commands. You can't change them other than the customization of the actual command itself. You can't add new ones and they're within the settings contained. We'll briefly go through those as well. So custom commands. First of all, how do you actually set up a custom command on your channel? You may have seen these as you've been chatting to other people. If you're a new streamer, uh, if you're an experienced streamer, you've probably seen these. You've probably more than likely got them on, on your channel. Perhaps you're not making the most of those commands. So uh, hopefully this video will give you some ideas on how to make the most uh, of those. So within the custom commands, first of all, really, really straightforward. You click add command. You can add the command for whatever you want. We, we might want to add one called, I don't know, socials, uh, social media. And then the response might be, uh, here are my social media uh, channels. And then you, for instance, might have your YouTube URL then your I don't know your Facebook uh, URL or whatever in there but what we've done here is we've set up the command itself so that's what someone will type to generate this response in your chat so you specify that a tip here would be to make sure you're using things that are rememberable things that make sense uh, and things that are generally quite short you don't want to be typing really long kind of words or multiple words in there so social media is probably about as long as you want to be taking it maybe no longer than maybe like maybe 15 letters or something like that. They have to be rememberable, repeatable and make sense. So that's the response that's going to arrive. You've got the choice here now to reply this response in the chat or in a whisper to the person that, that does it. Um, that's quite interesting because if it's something that's fairly private, 
as something that you only want to be permission to certain types of, of people or whatever. Most of the commands you want to be in chat because most of the commands that you have are likely to be available to everyone. And by having the response appear in chat, it shows other people what responses they're getting and whether or not they will find that command useful for themselves. Permissions, uh, you can now here set whether you want it to be just the streamer that can do that command, moderators, subscribers, or just regulars. Regulars being all but those things there that includes followers so that's the basic general settings uh, started there for a custom command we now look at some of the advanced features we can set a global cooldown in seconds uh, so we may not want this to be run for more than i don't know 60 seconds so it'll cool down for 60 seconds uh, a user cooldown uh, we don't want the same person spamming it so we'll put 120 seconds here we can actually have a cost for this so we can have it so that commands cost loyalty points against the loyalty points system. So that's quite an interesting way of using it. You can also have a subscriber cost as well. So this is a loyalty cost for subscribers. All this means is if you're having a cost for something, uh, the cost for a subscriber can be set to a lower value and that's just an extra incentive for uh, for the uh, subscriber there's regular cost as well so for regulars and then moderator cost it just allows you to set different costs for that command uh, and i'd be really interested in the comments below on how you set this up particularly in line with your own loyalty system if you do so you can then set another alias here so um i put this to uh, social media or an alias is, is an alternative way to trigger the same command so i don't know put it as uh, sm as the alias you click add command and then uh, social medias let's say with an s on the end as well just in case uh, so those three triggers social media G sm and social medias will all trigger the same command with under the same conditions you can also set specific keywords as well and all this is is if somebody in chat just naturally without setting a command just types a certain word uh, this will also trigger the custom command as well. You've got to be careful with these because if you make the keyword too much of a frequent word, what will happen is um, the command will come into your chat too frequently unless you've got a global cooldown set to be uh, a reasonable level. So for instance here, we could put um, Facebook as a keyword and I don't know, Instagram as a keyword. Um, even with that, I think they're probably too commonly used to really warrant adding those. Um, in which case you can easily just have a global cooldown which is much higher than 60 seconds you can actually on your tips page on the website from streamlabs if you're a prime user you're able to set up a website which is branded and you can have all of the themes and overlays and that's where people can donate to you you can set up another tab on that page which is called commands and that literally will show all of the commands um the thing about doing that is it just means that people are able to browse what the commands are without having to ask in chat you can just say look here are the commands. If it was a private command that you wanted only for your subscribers, you could choose to hide it from that page. And I'll just show a quick example of exactly where that is online here. This is my Streamlabs website. It's kind of customized to my current branding. I've got a page here called Cloudbot. I've called it Cloudbot. You can navigate to it. And these are all of the commands that are included on my channel here. I'm going to leave that to be uh, available on the, on the page for now. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. So I'll just uh, just make sure that that's here. So, so I'm going to search for it. Social media. There it is with a global cooldown of 60 seconds and a user cooldown of 120. I can choose to turn this on and off here very quickly and easily. If I want to just disable it for whatever reason, I can choose to throw it in the bin if I'm not happy with it. Or I can choose to edit it with this, this button here. Now all we have to do is go into our chat. Uh, I could be a user here. Or I could also be just me as the streamer. All we have to do here is type exclamation mark social media. There you go. My bot account has come back and said, here are the social media channels uh, with the YouTube URL, Facebook URL. Obviously, you can paste your actual URLs there to your social media channels. And that's in its basic form. That's how you set up custom uh, commands. One thing you can do here is... And I'll show this as an example. I've actually set up a custom command called exclamation point commands. And if we just have a quick look at what that actually does, I'll show it in here. Commands. So what this does is return a message, which is you can view the full list of commands for the channel right here. And that actually links to the page I showed just earlier. I use Cloudbot by Streamlabs for my channel commands. If you want to buy Streamlabs Prime, uh, type we love Streamlabs for a discount code. I have linked a discount code in the description below if you'd like to get a discount on upgrading to Streamlabs Prime. The main benefit of Streamlabs Prime is the website that you can have, which enables a tips page and various other things. But there are loads of other benefits to having 
Streamlabs Prime. So just to give a very quick flavor of how I use my custom commands, I'm going to do a quick run through of the actual custom commands that I have. So followage, uh, we'll go into variables in a second, but if we just have a quick look at this, it is uh, followage so-and-so. So that's a person has been following uh, as being a girth machine. So there's some emotes that you can put in here. So you are able to put emotes uh, with the channel, uh, which is my channel name for X amount of time. So that's a, a use of a variable. So that allows somebody to see how long they've been following uh, the game. Uh, so the game that I'm playing, the uptime that I'm playing. Uh, I've done specific ones for Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. This has just allowed me a little bit more flexibility with the keywords. Um, so if someone specifically only wants YouTube, I can type exclamation point YouTube rather than all of the social media channels. PC specifications, uh, stuff to do with donations uh, and how people can donate. My Discord channel commands. Uh, and there are also some stupid uh, commands that we've got here as well. This is just a command that one of my mods set up uh, when someone types exclamation mark the real jam jar, which is the name of a different streamer uh, that comes to my channel. Uh, there's just the ooh, kind of like a com comedy thing that's with, with a silly face that's pulled. So we don't have to be, we don't have to make these super serious as well. They can be uh, silly ones. And I'll just add a quick example of what that could be like uh, Machine Dana. Um, and then it could be like, is a girth machine <laughs> and just to try that there exclamation point machine dana is a girth machine so they don't have to be sort of sophisticated some of them can be just stupid uses if you want i'm going to delete that one <laughs> we've got information about sub tiers i put a exclamation mark 100 which it literally lists all of my first 100 followers uh using this url i've got other things in mind for example how people can access my steam wish list which is just a url to my steam wish list information about my loyalty system and loads of other stuff here for example uh skylines mods a really good use for for this is actually to be able to have a document to mods that you're using on a particular game and it just saves you from having to answer the question when people ask you can give them really specific information uh, so this url here is the uh, list of mods that i use for city skylines as, a, as one example so you can make these really useful you can make them stupid you can make them fun uh, or you can make them very informative i will do a follow-up video on how you can make most of the custom commands because i think that'll be really useful for people so now we'll get into the second type of command that you can have which are the default commands these are commands that are kind of built into the cloud bot but are customizable and i, I won't go through all of these in any real level of detail and um, feel free to just e experiment with some of this stuff in commands section here i can have a command to add a new command so anyone that is a mod on the channel or me as the streamer i can use the command exclamation point add command and that allows a mod to add a command di directly from chat but just to show and illustrate how the add command uh, works add command what you do in your chat or what your mods would do is exclamation point add command then a space then the actual command itself for example uh youtube url space and then you could actually do what the response will be so uh i don't know you can check out my YouTube channel here, and then like a URL, whatever the URL will be. So what I'm doing here is first saying that I'm, I want to add a command, then what the command actually is, and then the text for that command, which is responded in chat. Now anyone can do this, including the mod. There you go. So now it says a confirmation message to say that I have successfully added a, a command called YouTube URL. Let's just test what that is, YouTube url as an example you can check out my youtube channel here and, and the return message from the bot is you can check out my youtube channel url here which is exactly what i typed there that's part of the default commands here but you can actually change add command uh if you wanted you could just say um like that exclamation point command and it will do exactly the same thing so you can actually amend the command to add commands. I know this is pretty confusing, but <laughs> so you, there's loads of different things here. Link protection, so you can permit certain links, uh, giveaways, uh, quotes. So how to add a quote or to trigger um, the recipient of a new quote. Joining queues, media share, loyalty, heists, polls, miscellaneous gambling, eight ball, slots, duels and loyalty. So I have got a playlist of videos that goes through all of the different modules and shows how you can edit all of these to help make the most of the particular modules. But feel free to browse the playlist there.
So their default commands. The final thing we've really got here are variables, and variables are the things that pull in variable data as suggested by the name. For example, it might be uh, the game name or the title or the uptime of the uh, stream, or it might be a user's name or the amount of time a user has been uh, following you or whatever. So, and I'll just go through a few of these uh, settings, for example, for channel followers. So th this is a variable that says how many channel followers there actually are. So what this shows is uh, the usage. Uh, so it's sort of almost like a description of what the usage is and then what the result will look like. Some of the variables are a lot more obvious than others. Channel followers is a very obvious one. It's how many channel followers you have, but you'll have some that are a little bit more complicated. All this does really is allow you to have a lot more kind of customization within the custom commands or even the default commands by using variable data rather than static data that you define. Some other really good examples of how variable commands are used um, that with the loyalty points system, uh, rather than saying my loyalty points, you can actually pull in the, the name of what you've named your loyalty points system. Um, so you can use a variable function to pull in data uh, that allows it to feel like it's more customized for the user. So I'll just quickly cover the settings uh, here. What you may find uh, when you're using commands is that sometimes the commands may not work for various reasons. It might be that there's a cooldown. Uh, it might be that it's been typed in incorrectly or various other reasons. Uh, the settings here allows you to turn on uh, user cost messages, for instance, in your loyalty point system, if someone doesn't have enough balance to trigger a particular command or a redemption, uh, this will just enable the use of cost messages here. So for example, it'll say the user does not have enough currency to use a particular command. That's quite important because if someone's trying to use something and, and they're not sure why, and, and actually the reasons are really simple. For instance, they don't have the loyalty points. You don't have to then stop what you're doing to tell them that. It just enables them to, to do that automatically from the CloudBot uh, returned message here. It may also be the case that certain people don't have permissions to use certain commands, in which case this just enables uh, the bot to tell them that they don't have uh, permission and also cooldown messages um, sometimes if someone's using something and, and there's a cooldown they've not allowed enough time for that rather than you telling them wait there's a cooldown there uh, the system will tell them that there is a cooldown so there you have it that's a fairly detailed overview of how to use the commands function on cloudbot from streamlabs online uh, i'll be really keen to see how you guys use these because you know i i'm always keen to know new ideas and, and how to do things uh, but again feel free to jump over to twitch.tv forward slash machine dana and certainly to see how i'm using those and how my chat interacts with those commands hopefully you found this video very useful uh, and have a brilliant day take care